Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we've got some lovely news stories we need to be talking about, including a Pokemon Go card, which as far as I am aware, is only coming out in Korea. Yeah. That one was a bit of a surprise to me as well. You see, a new product has gone and been revealed. It is the Sword and Shield Pokemon Go Special Jumbo Card Set. And it has a bunch of stuff we would expect. It's got some packs of Pokemon Go. It's got that Pikachu coin that we're all aware of at this stage. And it's got the Mewtwo promo. Now, the Mewtwo promo has actually been found in a bunch of different places. For us, it's a promo coming in the Mewtwo V Battle Deck. Over in Japan, it's coming in that big box of theirs, which looks really cool. It's appearing all over. Here, for Japan, it's coming in this. That's not what's terribly interesting. What is terribly interesting here is the jumbo version of that card. Because I'm not aware, and please do correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong about this... I'm not aware of really any Jumbo Pokemon Go cards. No, that's a lie. The Alolan Executor in the Pokemon V-Box, which is weird because I'm not actually aware of that being in any other territories. So, whereas, you know, in a lot of these sets, we have a bunch of, especially the special sets, we have a bunch of these Jumbo cards. It seems like we get Alolan Executor, but that's it. And then Korea gets Mewtwo. I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit surprised by this. Did not see it coming. Uh, for anyone that cares, it comes with six packs of Pokemon Go. So yay, this is nice. And it's, it's weird. I mean, it's this Mewtwo promo, I love this. I really enjoy when we get promos given out in a bunch of different ways. That just makes me happy. But I'll be honest with you, did not see this jumbo coming. And as it stands at the moment, and again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm not aware of this coming anywhere else. Now, what is far more expected is another product which has been revealed in Korea, the Pokemon Go card album set. Now, this is actually out, well, June the 22nd, they both are. And this one is coming with a bunch of packs, four to be precise. Plus, it is coming with that Pikachu promo, and it's coming with your card file, which, of course, is a little binder where you keep all your stuff. And this is interesting because this is basically the same as the Japanese product. Japan's got this. Like, pretty much exactly this. With the card file, with the promo. Japan basically has this exact product. Uh, I think it even comes with four packs. I think it's literally the same product, but obviously in Japanese and then Korean. It's a little bit weird, if I'm honest with you. Why, I mean, what's weird about it is that Korea gets this product the same as Japan, but then they get the Jumbo Mewtwo, whereas Japan gets that awesome special box. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, I am struggling to find that for a decent price. Not terribly surprising. It was a lottery sale over at the Pokemon Center over in Japan. And it, it's proving to be difficult to find. But I've got myself a couple of boxes. I'm sure I will survive. Now, in other pretty cool news, at the Milwaukee Regional Championships this past weekend, there was a new promo given out. It was Roxanne. How cool is that? And it, of course, you know, was a regional stamped Roxanne and, and all of that good stuff. But we've not been seeing this. Up till now, the last few regionals we saw, they've all had Professor's Research. We started off with Giovanni, and then we moved on to Cyrus. And now we've got Roxanne. Roxanne's actually a, a really cool card. It's the one whereby you can only play it if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining. And then each player shuffle the hand into the deck. You draw six cards, your opponent draws two, jobs are good, and all of that good stuff. We're seeing it played as kind of a one-off. And it, it's a card which is better when it can be easily found. So we're seeing a lot of Drizzile and Inteleon decks around at the moment. And obviously, this is, you know, it, it makes sense. 
Drizzle and Nintendo will let you search for trainer cards. Roxanne is one of those you don't really want to play a full playset. Now, back when N was a thing, that was very different. Because N was both players shove the hand into their deck, draw a number of cards equal to their remaining prizes. And N was good at late game disruption. We saw it used like that for years. But N was also a very competent early game draw supporter. You could just get a shuffle draw six early on in the game. And sure, it wasn't perfect. And it gave your opponent a new hand and all of that. But N was a decent shuffle draw early in the game. And then good for disruption. Roxanne isn't. If I'm honest with you. And I'm not saying Roxanne's not a decent draw card. It is. Gets you a new hand of six. What I am saying is that it's not actually enough because you can't do it all the time. It's only some parts of the game you can actually do it. It's only when it gets later in the game. It's not the same, ladies and gentlemen. It's very much not the same. But I should say this is a very cool promo. This is, this is one that I'd be happy to pick up. It's interesting they've moved on from boss's orders. I mean, have they moved on from boss's orders? Are we going to get this uh, every one now? Is this going to be our upcoming regional promo? Is this just going to be it moving forward? Or are there going to be other promos as we go along? The answer is, I have absolutely no idea. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But for now, it's extremely cool. And I'm a fan. And we need to finish off today having a look at a potentially very exciting development... And that is that Pokemon cards are coming back to McDonald's. Now, at the moment, we have precious little information. For that, I can apologize. Although we can work some things out. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Point is, some people at the lovely Brage Gaming over on Twitter, we like that dude, that dude's awesome, have gone and spotted the Happy Meals there is always, in every Happy Meal, there's always a little part on the tab that says, hey, here's what's coming soon. And now it's Pokemon. And this seems to be legit. It seems to not just be old boxes. It seems like these are actually coming back. But now things are getting a little bit weird. Because the general rule of you, and this is the UK thing, right? These are spotted on Pokemon, on Happy Meals in the UK. And what's awkward is that as a general rule, in the US, you guys have your McDonald's promos. And then a few months later, we join the party. That's not happening this time. As it stands at the moment, and that's all I can really tell you at the moment, is there has not been anything happening in the US. But apparently it's coming to the UK. Now, don't read too much into this. Don't imagine it's going to be a UK-only promotion or anything silly like that. If it happens in the US, it happens in the UK. So if it happens in the UK, assume it's going to happen in the US. Of course, the most recent one, the 25th anniversary one, happened all over the world. Most of them do. Expect this one to as well. And generally speaking... We do tend to see one McDonald's promotion a year. So this does totally track. We should be expecting a McDonald's promotion at some point in the not-too-distant future. And generally, when it says coming soon on the Happy Meals, it's like the next promotion or the one after that. So you know what? I don't think we've got long to wait until these actually come around. And I am very, very, very happy indeed. Now, there are a couple of things that are very important to note here. It used to be the case that you would get a plastic toy and one card. And that that card would always, always, always be mangled by the toy. It was a little bit stupid if I'm honest with you. <laughs> the good news is... Nowadays, they, well, they came in packs last time. Expect them to come in packs again this time. Now, the reason for this is really simple. McDonald's have stopped doing plastic toys. Like, if we look at the Paddington promotion, which is going on at the moment, what we see is a bunch of little stuffed toys. And that's generally all McDonald's tend to do at the moment. It is stuffed toys or it is cardboard and actually as i'm literally here on the website on the paddington box on the mcdonald's website it's clearly got an image 
of coming soon Pokemon, which has been put there very deliberately. So this is actually definitely coming soon. Could go back and edit out and not give credit to Brace Gaming, but hey, that dude's awesome. Let's keep it in. Point is, it is coming. What are the cards going to be? Well, last time around, remember they were old reprints of old cards featuring the first part of the Pokemon from every generation. Expect them to be random reprints with the McDonald's Hollow. I mean, I've got an image of the 2017 promotion here. Just because it's an image I had to hand. And what you'll notice there, are, we've got 12 different straight reprints, all hollow. What is interesting is that obviously in 2017, we were still using the plastic toys. Whereas with the 25th anniversary collection, we went to packs of two non-hollow. One hollow. And all 25 cards are available as both hollow and non-hollow. If you ask me to guess, I think they're going to keep with that model. So I would expect them to be reprint of existing cards, not fancy 25th anniversary cards. I would imagine that's a one-off. It's a lot of work. And what we've got here, I would imagine, is a collection of cards, three in a pack, two non-hollow, one hollow, every card available as both non-hollow and hollow. That's what I'm thinking. That's my prediction. We'll have to wait and see. But it's on the official UK McDonald's website. It's right there on the box. And that usually means it's the next one. And these promotions generally tend to last for like three or four weeks. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, there we go. So the end date, actually, of... It's right there on the website. The end date for the Paddington Happy Meals is the 2nd of August. So very early August, we should be getting McDonald's cards in McDonald's. Now, technically, it says Pokemon. It doesn't necessarily say Pokemon TCG. But come on, ladies and gentlemen. It's always the TCG. And again, remember, McDonald's have stopped doing plastic toys. So it's either going to be little teddies or it's going to be cards. To be clear, not guaranteeing it is trading cards, not guaranteeing the content if they are. But I'm telling you, all McDonald's do at the moment are those little plushies like the Paddington ones and cardboard toys. So they just make way, way too much sense. Ah, we'll find out soon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited, and you should be too. But tell me how excited you are in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.